Consent. Bond. So the Miami Dolphins ever win the Super Bowl? Do you really want to know? Yeah. 56%. Bond. What year specifically and what was the spread? <laughs> What's poppin' Finn folk? Dolphins advocate Mariano here. Thank you for joining me. That ain't coffee. So, the Tomorrow War. Just watched it. This is a Dolphins fans film review. Hope you saw it already. So, there's going to be some spoilers here to a degree. Uh, I'm just going to let you in on my personal experience from the movie. Uh, just what just what I've been through. Just just my personal my personal experience. So, I watched it last night. <laughs> Excuse me. I tried to watch it last night. You know, after after a couple after a couple of voodoo rangers and uh, a couple of tequilas, you know, it's kind of hard to stay awake um, in that scenario. As well as um, the dialogue in this film, man, was uh, I found myself being very distracted throughout the movie because you know either they would say something that would send my mind off on the tangent to where I miss the next two minutes of the movie. That, that ever happened to you, right? Like you're, you're watching a movie or a show or whatever and then they say something and it gets you to thinking and then you're just off in la-la land for a second in your mind and, and then, oh shit, I just missed like five minutes of the film. Rewind, what was they saying now? So that, that happens a lot in this film. For me, at least. Um, what else? I'm, I'm, disclaimer, I'm going to talk about what I don't like about this movie first. So that was one thing. The dialogue, at times, kind of... Uh, it, uh, it allows you to drift off mentally into another space to where you're not paying attention to the movie anymore. Okay, that's one. Which ain't necessarily a bad thing, but just something I noticed. So, other than that, man, the audio, man. Whoever did the audio for this film, y'all need to talk to, man. Because when these people are talking, you can barely hear them. But the minute a monster or some gunshots is going off, it's loud as fuck, man. Excuse my friend. It's loud as bleep. Super loud. And uh, kind of annoying, man. I find myself adjusting the volume throughout the film in order... For the rest of the house to not be distracted by what I'm watching. So that's very annoying, man. The audio is very annoying. Like, y'all need some balance. It's completely unbalanced. The action, loud. The dialogue, not loud. So we need some middle ground there. Okay? Nothing you can do about it now. It's too late. But, you know, just, just something I noticed. Maybe it's my TV. Maybe I got a messed up TV. Maybe that's the case. I don't know. I'm just saying. Um, other than that, I thought it was a pretty interesting movie, man. Um, our, the, the comic relief there was pretty cool. Uh, for some reason, that the guy's name eludes me at the moment. Let's see. The Tomorrow War. Okay, I don't... That series not on this phone here. Give me a second, if you will. If you will. Because, you know, overall, you know, I liked the film. It was pretty cool. Um, I realized later on that it was over a two-hour movie. So, in case you haven't seen it, a bit of a spoiler alert here. So, uh, aliens are taking over the world 30 years from, let's just say now. 
So the main character um, gets drafted into a war to, you know, keep said war from happening, I guess you could say. So you go into the future. So Chris Pratt's character, he goes into the uh, future and um, lo and behold, the lady in charge is his daughter. Okay, so that was interesting too. I thought that was interesting. I, 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 it seemed like that aspect of the film was a little too uh, coincidental or convenient or however you want to put it. You know, when I learned that while finally watching it, and paying attention. That was interesting. So he goes off into the future to fight this war and I guess find a cure uh, or an anecdote uh, or a virus for said aliens, the mother of them all, to, um, yeah, keep them from being uh, a threat to humanity. So, um, at the end of their part of the film, uh, he lets his daughter die in the future. Which doesn't matter because he's got the anecdote, so to speak, and he's going back to present day anyway. So if he goes back to present day and prevents all of this from happening, she never dies there anyway, right? All right. So that happened. Um, let me see this guy's name. What's this guy's name? The Tomorrow War. I didn't get that. Could you try again? All right. The Tomorrow War. Here are matches for the Tomorrow War. All right. Let's see. All right. So we got Chris Pratt, Yvonne Strahovski, J.K. Simmons. Um, I'm looking for this guy's name. I can't remember his name for some reason, but... Come on, Siri. You're not you're not taking me to the movie. You, you you're doing other things that I'm not asking you to do. Whole bunch of other stuff, Siri. A bunch of other stuff. A bunch of other stuff. I'm not asking you to do, Siri. I don't I don't understand this. All right, Sam Richardson. That's his name. Sammy. Oh, Sammy. And Edwin Hodge. Great character, Edwin Hodge. I really like your seriousness, and I really like Sam Richardson's comedic. Uh, expression, to say the least, uh, in there. And uh, Mary Lynn, Mary Lynn Rob Rods, Rodscombe, uh I dearly remember from um, a movie called, uh, what the hell's the name of the movie, with Sean William Scott and, uh, gosh, something about rotator splints. You probably know what I'm talking about if you're old enough. But anyway, so yes, Overall, it was a good film. So, um, when I get back to present day, it's like a situation to where, uh, you know, they discover that these aliens have been here since uh, a whole long time ago. And the student of Chris Pratt at the beginning of the film um, is really into volcanoes. So, eventually, they kind of double back to this guy and ask him questions because he's like a volcano expert, I guess, as a teenager. And uh, apparently these aliens have been here for like 600 AD or BC or whatever. And they've just kind of been waiting in Russia for the ice caps to thaw out and then invade the world. So it turns out that going forward in time 30 years uh, wasn't actually the point in time that they should have been jumping towards. So back in present day, these guys learned that, hey, we need to go to Russia and kill these guys before this uh, global warming, uh, enough enough of a global warming takes place in the future to where they can thaw out and uh, destroy humanity. So that happens, and uh, yeah, as well as that, uh, the, the 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 lead character Chris Pratt gets the time gets time to uh, uh, heal his uh, relationships, not only with his daughter in the future. But also his father, which is J.K. Simmons' character. Which leads me to why you're watching this, hopefully. And 
all this Dolphins stuff behind me is for a reason. Because we are mentioned in the film. So congrats, Dolphins fans. We've crept our way into pop culture once again, and there is more to come, especially if and or when we win a Super Bowl soon. Hopefully that's the case. So today's shirt, bam, bada bing, bada boom. All right, now, I know what some of you are thinking, all right? I know what you're thinking. But I can show you. All right. Now, that's what you do with your old jerseys, ladies and gentlemen. You take the nameplate off. Because yours truly knew that eventually there would be a number 17 on this team again. That we are looking forward to being great. So, no need to throw away this at all. Just get rid of nameplate. That's it. And if the new guy proves to be good enough, maybe we'll put the name back there. Maybe we won't. So, fins up. And that brings me to my next question. My question of the day, I'm going to have to start having questions of the day, man, because I got questions. And I don't know who can answer them. I can't answer them. That's why I got the question. So, oh, what, what's with us not retiring people's numbers, man? Who's the last, who's the last person's number we've retired? Huh, Dolphins fans? Can anybody tell me the answer to this question? I'll wait. The last jersey we retired. Should we retire 54? Should we retire the number 99? I guess to a degree I'm speaking on the past here. So in regards to the movie, I can speak on the present, which is most important. And what needs to happen in the future. So let's all look forward to retiring the number one. Tuweninga Mano Alapola. Tanga Baloa. Why not? All right. Thank you all for joining me. Till next time. And of course, fins up. That was the future. Miami Dolphins still suck. So